guys, Super Car Blondie. Um, I got the strangest and the best call ever this week. It's like, hey, I own a Devo. You want to come drive it? Um, yes. <laughs> How freaking cool is that? So the owner is not actually here at the moment. He said, just come on by. I'll put the Devo outside for you. Just have a look around, share it with the Super Car Blondie family, take it for a bit of a drive. And I was like, okay, I'll be right there. <laughs> so freaking cool so thank you so so much to that owner he wishes to remain anonymous but on to the main event shall we so here is his or her gorgeous bugatti tifo <laughs> worth about eight million dollars. You guys know Frank, the deputy design director at Bugatti. He told me that the average owner of one of these Devos already owns 40 special cars, has 40 cars already in their garage. You've got to be a super, super special Bugatti client to be able to buy one of these. You cannot just call Bugatti up and be like, Hey man, love the Devo, can I have one? No, doesn't work like that. They're gonna ask you, do you already have a Chiron? And if you haven't yet bought the $3 million Chiron, that's it, they're hanging up. You've got to buy the Chiron before you're allowed to buy this car. Now the original price of this car was about $6 million. So you already had to have a $3 million Bugatti and then you could maybe buy this $6 million Devo because there are only 40 of these cars being made. And that's why the price has now gone up from about $6 million when it was first launched to about $8 million. Right, let's have a look around it. As you can see straight away, there are lots of design changes from the Chiron to the Devo. Look at this, the daytime running lights are in this boomerang shape. And what they've done is they've pushed them all the way to the edge of the car, just so that the car looks wider and more aggressive. And if you look at the headlights itself, they're tiny, aren't they? These are the actual headlights, very different from the Chiron, which has those diamond shapes in the headlights. This is just very um, kind of, I use the word squished, it's probably not the designer's favorite word. Sorry about that, Frank. But they are a little bit more squished, which makes it a little bit more aggressive. So there you go. That's the headlights for you. Around the side here, guys, what's quite interesting is they have split the car in two. So you've got this blue segment here and this white segment here. Everything you see in blue is for function, so aerodynamics. The white is for design purposes. I think that's really interesting that they've done that. Also, the split, the split between colors is meant to make the car look closer to the road. So it actually looks lower than the Chiron, but it's not. This is basically the sporty, lightweight version of the Chiron. This is 35 kilos lighter than the Chiron is. Let's look at its extra panels, the louvres, air intakes, outtakes, etc. Here's some nice little louvres for you. And that's actually just gonna expel some air from this area here around the wheel. Air intake here and around the back. This is super cool, guys. This is a major design change from the Chiron. You've got this fin running down the back here. Now, the purpose behind this is You've got the air flowing through here, down over the engine bay, but in order to stop the air from kind of circulating around here, this fin just breaks it up and throws it out the back. So that fin is there for, again, function. It's in blue, guys. It all makes sense. You've got four exhaust pipes here at the back that are visible, and then you've got another exhaust pipe here on the right, and another exhaust pipe here on the left. So in all, you've got six exhaust pipes. Now, you might think, well, hang on a minute, why have you kind of hidden two on either side of these visible ones? Now, that's for a very good reason, actually three reasons. The first reason is this. It's actually gonna to be too noisy if you have all six exhaust pipes facing directly back at you, right? So they've got two facing down. The second reason they've done this is to actually increase the downforce, which is quite interesting. The third reason is because if you have all six exhaust pipes right here, it actually gets so hot that these little lights to light up your rear number plate 
can actually melt from the heat coming out of the exhaust pipe. So isn't that crazy? Now, the other cool thing to show you guys is this. I love these rear tail lights. I mean, how freaking cool is this? It's not hidden behind like a panel of glass. All of this is a 3D mesh and you can kind of run your fingers through it. This is so freaking cool. These white panels here are the ones where the light comes through. Now, in order to have the light come through, they had to square off these edges. If they just left, only these panels, this would not pass road homologation because it would be too dangerous to have squared off edges. So what they've had to do is place in these black panels as well with rounded off edges and they're thicker just so that you can pass the road homologation laws. The engine, you guys, this is what is so freaking impressive. I just recently drove the Chiron Pure Sport. If you haven't yet seen that vid, the link is in the description right here, right here. Just go check it out. That was epic. I got to floor a Chiron Pure Sport. Right, this is a W16 engine with 1500 horsepower. It's actually an eight liter W16 and it has four turbochargers. You can't even imagine what this thing feels like to drive. It is so smooth. It is so smooth and it is so much power. I just can't even like, ah, oh, I can't even explain it to you. Let's get in. Now, what is just so gorgeous is this interior, you guys. Look at this stitching here, like little birds taking off in flight. Love that, you've got full exposed carbon fiber door. So you're gonna notice a lot more carbon fiber in this car than in the Chiron. That's because they're trying to save as much weight as possible. So you've got carbon fiber here everywhere. You've also got carbon fiber here in the middle. Look at all of this. It just gives you so much more of a like a sporty feel. Again, you've got this beautiful C curve here in the middle and this actually lights up in between you and the passenger. And I think it's just time to turn it on. What do you think? I got the key, I got the key. I better give this back and not forget about it. Here we go. Bugatti Devo key, $8 million. <laughs> Sometimes I get a little bit like giddy about it. I just can't believe this. Okay, are you ready? Oh! Fancy shoes. I had to wear my fancy shoes. I'm in a Devo. There's a nice little slot for the key, which is awesome. I love that. Bonk. And it sits there, so it's not sliding around everywhere. And then, engine start. Time to look at the lights actually lit up. Pick on the front first. the radio <laughs> hazard and here if you look at what I can see straight into the engine oh, I love that view now what is super cool here is look on your speedometer it goes all the way up to 500 kilometers an hour on what car do you get to see that that is so freaking epic. So the top speed is actually limited to 380 kilometers an hour, uh, but you know, it has the potential to actually do that 500 kilometer an hour. Okay, this is the moment. Now, 
I've had a drive of a few different Chirons and when I first drove a Chiron, I was like, I'm not sure about this experience. It feels a little bit passive to me. You know, it's so easy to drive. I was just kind of driving in around in back streets, right? But recently I got to actually floor a Chiron and that was the moment that I fell in love with the Chiron. Because when you have a Chiron, you have 1500 horsepower to play around with. That is the kind of thing you want to do with these cars is actually go and test what that feels like. Guys, I cannot even explain to you how incredible 1500 horsepower feels. Zero to 100 in 2.4 seconds. Now, when you're thinking of the capabilities or how quick all electric cars are, they're not even there yet. This doesn't have any power from any batteries. It's all from the W16 and it is super, super quick. Ah, it's music. You know what I think? It, every time I hear it, it's like ah, a big breath out. It's like so relaxing. Here we go. Here we go. And ah, <laughs> oh, I'm a Devo owner. <laughs> okay, guys, here is my next goal to become a Bugatti Chiron owner. It's going to happen. I will be a bug owner. I know it. I can feel it. And I'm going to get Frank to kit it out for me. He's actually drawn already a Bugatti Chiron for me with the Supercar Blondie logo down the side. So this is my next goal. It's going up on my vision board. Um, one day I will be driving around a bug in Dubai. Wow, 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 what a day. A massive thank you to the owner once again and I just want to congratulate you on your Devo and thank you to you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed that make sure to subscribe to my channel hit that notifications button so you don't miss any of my vids all right love you guys I'm out. <laughs>